I know why you're here. You want to be able to attract baddies. You want to be able to have baddies chase you. You want to keep these baddies around you. What's good with y'all, man? All right, so probably the most prominent question I've ever gotten was centered around baddies. Okay, how to get baddies, how to keep baddies, attracting baddies, all this other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to really sum this up into this video. Not only how to attract them, once you get them, now the process becomes keeping them. And that's a whole thing of managing them, okay? You got to understand that keeping them, okay? Getting them is one thing. Keeping them, okay? Getting a baddie to chase you and all this other stuff. We talking about a whole different circumstance here. Okay, a whole different situational shit. With that said, bro, before we hop into this, man, make sure you follow me on IG, check the links in the description box, turn notifications, bro. Get these likes up. Let's get into this, man. So first things first, okay, we talking about attracting baddies. Here's the thing, guys. Number one, there has to be an avenue that puts you into that stratosphere of attracting baddies, okay? We ain't talking about these regular chicks that's out here that think they're baddies, because that's just a delusional mind state that a lot of these chicks have today. I'm a 10. I'm a 10. No, you're not. Okay, stop it. Stop it. You don't have the body type of a 10. You don't have the demeanor of a 10. Like, your confidence is strictly hot air. Okay, we know that these chicks be putting on more than... We already know they're putting on makeup anyway. They look better than they really look. So, whatever the case is, we ain't talking about those regular basic ones. Okay, the general baddie. And what I presume that baddie is, is a natural eight, right? A natural eight, at least. She got to at least be a natural eight. No makeup, come out the shower, she's a natural eight. Boom. So once she gets dressed up, once she gets done up, she is at least a nine. Okay? In my opinion, that's a baddie. So now it comes to what puts you in the stratosphere to attract baddies. Guys, you're going to have to do either three or a combination of these three things. Check this out looks money status okay there has to be a certain threshold of your looks to be in a stratosphere of baddies because baddies are either going to be see some guys is like well that's not true because it'd be the fat guy that's got money money was what attracted them right money was his tool money was what attracted them you can use one of these three things looks money status and or a combination of them I want you guys, right? Me, I'm going across the board. I want you guys to try to go across the board. Don't just stop at one. See, the, the fat dude that, that's got money, he get caught up because he can attract them and one might chase him because he has the money, but he won't keep her long, right? Because he gets weak, because he might have a beta male mindset. You know what I'm saying? This is the series of things that you got to, keep in mind when you're talking about baddies because it's at a different level you know what i'm saying than a regular chick i digress next thing we're talking about status status can get you in the door too that'll have you know a chick chasing you for or oh, maybe she wants followers too or maybe she wants this kind of social media fan whatever 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 back to the looks part too because let's say that she does have the guy with the money and or status she can find a, a, a dude that's just attractive and she just wants him for that. Any range of chicks can find this guy. And the baddies have no problem finding the guys that lure them in with the status and or the money. But she might be really looking for the guy that could really just drop some dick off. An attractive dude to drop some dick off on her, right? Put it on a forehead, slap her with it. She might want that kind of stuff done, but the, the dude with the money status ain't capable of doing that. Or he just doesn't have that demeanor. He doesn't have that, you know, kind of skill. So she'll go for the attractive guy. He could just be attractive and have no money, no status. Just a regular attractive dude that's slinging Johnson. And he will be good, right? So either one of these three, and, you know, of course, the money. We already discussed that the, you could be a dude with money and still get baddies. But those are typically the guys that are getting used. They tricking and or they just don't have that game together so they can't keep them all right once you have one of these things you have the ability to attract baddies you have the ability to have a baddie chase you all right next thing is 
keeping them, maintaining them. We talking about maintenance, fellas. And listen, this is the most important part. This is the most important part right here because, listen, these bitches require routine inspections of what you ask of they fucking egos. Listen, listen closely. Anytime I've been with a bad chick, it's always been because of this one thing, okay? That thing is, I did not treat them differently, okay? This is the key to you keeping this bad shit. Once you got her, right? Once you are able to attract them, then you have the ability to have them chase you if you're able to use other baddies to attract other baddies. Okay, he's used to having a bad shit, boom, boom, boom. You still haven't got to the nitty gritty. You still haven't gotten to clapping the cheeks. See, once you clap the cheeks, bro, you better hope she ain't got that wet wet. Because I'm telling you, if she ain't just Patrick Starfish laying down, fuck me. If she ain't sprawled out like that, she really riding your thing like it's a rodeo in there. She making your toes curl and all this other stuff. She making you sing. Bruh, trust me. Trust me. You won't last long. You won't last. And that mean about two or three things. You won't last long if you're not mentally prepared to handle the maintenance of this bad chick. Because most, okay, most bad chicks might not be capable of that because they used to just getting sprawled out and just, they used to being lazy as hell in the bedroom. But if you got a baddie that really know how to do her thing, that can do a trick on the dick, can do a backflip, front flip on it, you will be in trouble if you start treating her differently. You're letting her ego go to her head. Don't be over here validating too much. This is, see, this is when all this stuff really kicks in. All the game, all the techniques and all this kind of stuff. This is when it starts kicking in because you're going to really know what you're capable of, what you're able to deal with when you got this baddie running wild with an ego and you over here trying to keep her on that straight with you, right? You over here trying to balance her damn emotions out while she going crazy, okay? That's not an easy battle, guys. So a lot of guys ain't prepared for that stress, but I'm telling you, the first thing is never treat them as more important than a seven. Even though she's obviously better than a seven, do not treat them any differently. I've never, if anything, I made it a point to make sure that if they lead with their ego, I'm destroying it right off the rip. I'm destroying it because what is her true value? You know what I'm saying? At that moment of time, what is her true value? At that moment of time, what do you really want from this chick besides her body? Not a damn thing. So all these chicks out here got bodies. You don't even know if the coochie is good yet. You don't know if it can do tricks, right? You don't know if the coochie doing backflips. You don't know if the coochie doing somersaults and shit on your dick. What you do know is that you can't treat her any differently. Okay, this brings them back to reality, right? Bring them back to reality. And guys, you got a whole value in yourself because that's not going to work. You're not going to be able to do that. It's not going to last because if she tries to flip it on you, and you don't really have a solidified confidence in who you are, then it's donezo, right? See, that's why I don't lead with what I do or whatever on social media. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You know why? Because I'm that dude regardless. Before it, while it, during it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be that guy regardless. I don't need to lead with shit, but who I am stepping out here. And none of their reputation, I don't care how many OnlyFans people they got subscribing to them, all these simps, you know, busting nuts on the, on their feet pics. So I don't give a damn about none of that shit. Any attention they get, I don't give a damn about none of it. I keep that mentality. I keep it going because that puts them in a place. I'm not the same as these other dudes out here that's going to sit here and validate you and sprinkle sugar on your toes just because, oh, you think you deserve it. I don't give a fuck. None of that shit matters. She hasn't proven herself of anything. Every single chick, I don't care how bad she is, she has to have proof of something besides her body, of something besides the vulgarity of just fucking. Like, it, it just can't be that for me. If she has that, then that's cool, right? That's great, but I'm experiencing that too. So I, I don't, you know, I don't care about that. You can't be the guy that's gonna fall victim to that. Cause with a bad chick, if she's able to put that thing on you, that's where the battle really begins. The war ain't even started yet, bro. You losing the battle from the jump if you already validating them and doing extra shit just because she's bad. So you already making her separate from the rest of these chicks. So you already lost the battle there. But the war begins if she really topping you off really good. Babysitting your kids the best you've ever had them babysat. Right? And you like, damn, I ain't never had. Bruh, telling you. Telling you. Did she start asking for shit and you over here all week and she, you done busted nuts, you pillow talking. Worst thing you can do here 
And this is when you really screw up. This is when you really fuck up. Don't do this. When you bag a baddie, do not do this. Do not start exposing your weaknesses. Don't start talking about insecurity and this and that. Bro, all they're doing, their whole mission is to look for chinks in your armor. That's all they're looking for. The baddies pick on it instantly. They're picking on them instantly. So you get with them that pillow talking. There is no pillow talking with them. Period. Period. Period, bro. Ain't no pillow talking, bitch. Right? We ain't on that shit. Okay? You got to maintain your frame regardless. Like, like they, they can't be nothing, guy. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I've made previous videos on this, but, like, a lot of guys don't understand what, what goes into actually trying to keep a bad chick. Attracting bad chicks, smashing a bad chick. That's cool. Right. That's not that's not that hard. Right. It's not, I mean, you got to be at a threshold. Like I said, one of the three of the combination of looks, money, status. But once you're there, you're going to have baddies coming at you. And it's like, OK, cool. But the thing is, you're not trying to maintain them yet. It's a whole different battle when we talking about maintaining a bitch, a bad bitch. That's a whole different thing, bro. That's a whole different thing. That's when the attention from other dudes and Oh, well, I got this guy trying to fly me across the country first class, and he going to get me a roly when I get there, too. I don't have to do anything. Hey, bitch, come on now. Come on now. You know what she finna do. You know what she finna do. Come on, G. Come on, G. So can you hold frame when things like that are being thrown in her face? You know what I'm saying? Can you stay true to the man you are in the face of all that stuff? And even if she ain't even on your side for that, and she over here like, like, see, she definitely for the world with that. So what you got to understand, you got to understand the fact that these bad chicks, their pussy is for sale. All right, you got to understand that they pussy for sale, but it just is what it is. Like a true bad chick, like the anomaly, the 10, you know what I'm saying? A universal 10, not just a 10 in your eyes, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but not just a 10 in your eyes, but like a lot of guys would be like, yo, that's a 10. Yeah, bro, or pussy for sale, dog. A pussy for sale and you just gotta you just gotta eat that you know what i'm saying pause you just gotta take that pause you really just gotta know that you really gotta know that that's what you're you're dealing with here hey, once you know that you can detach from it though once you know that because you've detached from it, you can be indifferent about the bitch hence her being attracted to you more hence her knowing hey he's not gonna just bow down because I'm getting all this attention. He's not going to do this. He's not going to sway from what he knows, what he values, because he's standing on his square. He knows who he is. I'm not shaking. I'm not faltering for no bitch out here. You got me fucked up. I don't care what you say. That is, is not happening. That shit ain't happening, bro. Never. And once they know that, then they value something different in you as opposed to the rest of these guys. You want the bad chick. See, this is how you're going to keep the bad chick. You want her to see you for who you truly are. And what you truly got to be is that confident man. What you truly got to be is that dude. Exactly like I just explained. Because once she figures that out, she's like, well, damn, he's different. But not only is he different, I respect that. And I value that. That's something that the money and shit can't replace. You know what I'm saying? That's something that these other guys out here may or may not have, but she don't know yet. What she does know is that you got it. You got the it factor. You know what I'm saying? That's not easy to replace. That's not something you can just pick up on the street. You know what I'm saying? She can pick up a lot of shit on the street. You got to be that guy. Man, you can't, you know, nothing can shake. Nothing can waver that, bro. You got to stay on that path, bro. Ten toes down on who you are as a true man like absolutely unshakable you stuck around this far bro put unshakable in the comment section bro y'all be easy man